The Games of Summer kicks off today. Five new trials, a trial a day, but with infinite tries and rewards you can earn, not tickets for XP. I love making quick trials guides, so I think I'll cover these every day, just because. These are certainly harder than the normal three-star trials, which they should be when you have infinite tries. I think it's really fun. Today is the risky parkour trial for these three rewards, plus you get a little trophy charm just for participating, and if you get every daily trial gold, you'll also get this growl blueprint. Well, let's go. This isn't the dog tag variant of parkour, so you can't pick your path. There isn't much creativity involved here, so I'll just share a couple tips I came across and then share a full run. One, the timer doesn't start until you hit the first point, so don't waste your tack sprint getting out of the truck. It also means you can climb the bales to the right to jump to the truck and back, instead of wasting time mantling up the truck. I liked it that way, but it might not even be faster, especially needing to turn around on a controller, so up to you. There are a couple crates down there that I never used. They didn't seem helpful at all. I just like jumping back to the overhang. When you're jumping box to box, it's good to land on the side closer to you because you always want enough room to build some sprint speed and have a full strength jump, or in some cases, even get a quick super sprint in. Be careful with mantling, try to be aiming for the middle. Sometimes you get these ridiculous mantles where it hops you right over the thing. Yeah, that's totally what I wanted to do. One big spot to watch out for that is near the end with these hay bales. Don't approach them sideways because that can send you right over them. Instead, line up with the back of them lengthways to be safer there. All right, let's go through a full run. I actually failed to record my first gold, so I had to come back and do it again, but luckily I was pretty practiced at this point. So I take the route to the side. You can go either way. The timer hasn't started yet. Jump to the truck and jump back. Not perfect, had a mantle there. Jump to the hay and back to the overhang. Get a quick tack sprint in there to jump to the tractor safely. Then the box to box, landing close enough to have time to sprint through the window, and here's actually the hardest trick in the run. You can do a jump to these hay bales without a mantle if you time the apex just right, but that's not important for the goal. The mantle there is perfectly fine. Then you want to try to get in a tack sprint on those hay bales and a quick turn for a big strafe jump over to the opposite hay bales in a diagonal there. Otherwise, you'll land on the stairs or the platform and waste time going around. It isn't in the gas, so you could jump to the platform if you have trouble with that jump, but I think it's best to go for the big jumps early in the run so you have time to take it safe later on. Like here, I start to slow down, hopping through that window, only normal sprint through here. You always want some tack sprint available for big jumps. I even walked on the truck here to make sure I had some ready. Regular sprint through here to jump on this narrow little wood bit, then onto the crate. I stop and wait a split second there to make sure I have the jump regen to mantle up. Otherwise, you can find yourself stuck there doing little hops. Then I take it pretty safe through this ending section, giving myself little pauses on each obstacle to make sure I have the sprint ready to make each jump. This blue crate, especially, you want to have some tack sprint space. Pretty big jump there. Then the safe mantle onto that hay, normal jump across. And then there's this last big jump you probably want some tack sprint for. On my first gold run, I dipped a toe in the gas there, but that's actually okay. And then you got some small jumps to the finish. You can see you have a couple seconds to play around with there, but the timer is fairly tight on these. You've got infinite tries, so they expect some good parkour. This one's mostly going to come down to your movement skills. There isn't much of a guide I can make for a set path parkour, but I'm looking forward to the gun course trial where I can really try to optimize and line up collaterals. Also looking forward to seeing these leaderboards to see people with their insane times. I have no doubt you can perfect this much further. Well, good luck and thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.